Hi everyone and welcome to today's oil painting time lapse and studio sessions episode 19. And I'm sorry but I really don't want to risk this video being removed from YouTube for nudity so I have to censor it but I am going to be posting an uncensored and hour-long version of this video on my Patreon page if you're interested at patreon.com slash happydartist. Also, quickly before I begin, there are only a few days left of my 20% off sale, so if you would like to snag some discounted prints, just use the code BACKTOSCHOOL at happyd-artist.com to get 20% off of your entire order. And the sale ends September 30th. All right, it is time to begin today's video, and today I will be talking about commissions. And the reason why I've chosen this particular painting for this topic is because this is actually a commission. So if you're just starting out in your art career, you might be wondering about commissions. You know, what are they? How do you get a commission? And are they important? Um, what are the pros and cons? What are the benefits? And I'm just going to try to brain dump as much information as I can today to give you guys a good starting point on dealing with commissions. So commissions are basically pieces of artwork that you create for someone else in exchange for payment. So the types of commissions that you can get can really vary from person to person, from client to client. Um, you know, it could be someone wanting you to paint a portrait of their family member or their favorite pet or sometimes themselves um, or maybe their favorite celebrity or character. Um, also, you could have commissions where clients don't have a specific person or reference photo in mind, but they have some sort of idea or concept and they hire the artist to carry that vision into life and to render their ideas. So I personally think commissions are awesome and I've been doing them since I was very young. I think I did my first paid commission when I was in high school and it was just simply like a family friend who knew that I loved to draw and paint and wanted me to draw something for her husband um, for their wedding anniversary. So. Commissions, I feel like, are a great source of income, especially if you're just starting out and especially if you don't have an established collector base or you don't have much demand yet for your original creations. Or honestly, if you don't really have um, a firm grasp on a unique personal style, but you're very good at art and you want to do it and you want to make money from it, I think commissions are great for all of those scenarios. So. The number one pro, I think, for commissions is that it's a great way to earn money doing art. And for any artist who is just starting out, and honestly, I think for artists who are seasoned, uh, being able to make money doing what you love is a huge privilege. So commissions may not be the most you know, personal or creative type of art you could do because you are doing it for someone else, but they are a great source of income and I highly encourage everyone to do it and I think the biggest advantage for me personally when doing commissions was they definitely helped me pay the bills and I had fun doing them and you know I had a sense of fulfillment being able to use my skills and my talents to help support myself and um, you know commissions are basically like guaranteed to be sold before you even create the artwork so it's just also a nice kind of comforting feeling to know that you have um, a piece of artwork that's going to for sure sell and earn your money. It gives that piece of artwork kind of an extra um, kind of oomph and an extra kick when you're trying to meet those deadlines because you already have a tangible reward, you know, at the end of the tunnel. Um, and I think commissions are also great exercises in helping artists push themselves out of their comfort zones. So for me personally, um, you know, I usually like to paint weird alien women in very dark fantasy settings. And sometimes when I get a commission to do, you know, a normal human being with realistic human proportions, or perhaps, you know, someone has once before asked me to do a portrait of her boyfriend, so I had to paint a man. And yes, I do paint men. It does happen, rarely, but it does. Um, yeah, it's a really fun challenge for me to do something out of my norm and to step outside my safety box and, and try something new. And especially if 
It's something that I'm usually not familiar with. It's also a great practice in helping me get more fluent at painting subjects that I normally don't paint. Also, my favorite part about commissions is simply delivering a piece of artwork to someone that I know they're going to love and cherish and, you know, it will bring them a lot of joy. It'll make them feel very positive emotions and knowing that I brought that to their household, that I enabled them to feel that way, I created something that means a lot to them. Um, that is a very rewarding feeling. So usually commissions, people hire you to do them because they want you to paint someone or something that has a lot of meaning in their life. And I think being able to bring, bring that into a stranger's home, a stranger's life is extremely positive and I love that feeling. However, with pros, there are also a few cons. And these are just my personal cons, my, my list of cons. So they might not apply to everyone, but from my personal experience, um, the biggest setback for commissions is sometimes you don't have as much creative freedom as you would with your original artwork that you do for yourself. Um, I consider myself very lucky and I'm super grateful that I, I've had the chance to do many commissions where the client actually does want me to have a lot of creative control. Um, this piece being a great example of, of such a commission where the client said, basically, you know, paint whatever you want. I just want a sunset with a flower meadow. Um, but you know, the rest, the composition, the colors, everything is up to you. And I really, really love that. And sometimes if you're lucky, you bump into a client that allows you to carry forth their vision, but also, um, you know, do it your own way. And they won't put too many restrictions on how you paint the commission. But, you know, sometimes you will get a client who has more specific details in mind of what they want and will have a list of rules for you to follow. And while I don't think that's a bad thing, I think, you know, if someone is a paying customer, they do have the right to, you know, kind of dictate a lot of what they want in the artwork but um, yeah as for the artist it could feel kind of constricting and you might not feel like it's pushing your creative development as much and you know if you paint mainly people's family portraits or pet photos you know the pieces that you create might not exemplify your unique style or they might not be pieces that make a great asset to your portfolio if you want to apply for galleries or magazines or things like that um, and also you could sometimes deal with pretty fussy clients um, i feel very fortunate that like 99.9 .9 percent of my experiences with commissions have been extremely positive with really kind open people, um, but I have heard stories about people dealing with clients who are very fussy, who make you redo things over and over again, who, who don't know what they want and, you know, treat the artist like a painting monkey. Um, and, you know, you always have that risk. And also it can definitely be frustrating if you, you know, promise the commission to be completed by a certain deadline and you're going through artist block and you kind of have to force yourself to finish because, you know, you are delivering a promised product to a paying customer. So, but all in all, I feel like the pros outweigh the cons tremendously and I highly recommend everyone, especially new artists, to try out commissions. Um, some of my tips for getting your first commission if you don't have a huge social media following or don't have a huge collector base is just through family and friends. Um, you can always hang up your work at your home and if people come to visit, they'll see it, they'll talk about it. Um, you can always go to art fairs, your local street fairs, um, display your work, coffee shops. You never know who could see it and who might want to hire you for a commission. And once you get a commission, I think the number one tip I have is to make sure you get paid and make sure that you and the client both have an agreement, an official agreement of um, when you're supposed to deliver the painting by and also how much you're supposed to get paid and when you should get paid. So I personally recommend either asking for the payment up front or just having a deposit up front before you even begin the piece. And um, 
lastly, make sure you and your client have an open channel of communication and that you fully understand your client's needs before you start committing to rendering the artwork. So I really recommend showing your client every single update along the way um, as you create the work, especially during the concept sketching phase. That's where you can brainstorm and collaborate on a lot of ideas with minimal repercussions if you decide to change something or start over. And um, also make sure your client is aware of the limits of your capabilities. Um, personally, I always try to be honest and never over promise anything. So, you know, if someone wants a concept or a painting that is too complicated or just out of the realm of my abilities or something I won't be able to, to deliver in the timeline that they want, I always make sure to tell them up front so that we can iterate an alternative concept together and so that they know exactly what they're going to get and they're not disappointed in the end. So yeah, that is kind of my ramble on commissions. I hope you guys found that useful. Once again, a quick reminder, I do have a few days left of my 20% off sale with the code back to school at happyd-artist.com. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.